Hello, and welcome back to my FTB series. This episode, or, yeah, this episode, <laughs> we are, because we're still waiting, um, i actually give you a quick look, we're still waiting on the UU. I've got about nearly, I think, two stacks now. If we just run down here. I've been just basically emptying all my chest upstairs. So we've got eight UU here. And we've got two stacks and a bit. We're still needing more, though. We've got some scrap, just, like, not depositing for some reason. This end... Recycler doesn't seem to get pulled that often. It seems to always pull from the first two and not the last one. Um, but I think it's because it always tries pulling from the first inventory first. Um, well, yeah, nearest one first, and then the second nearest. By that point, the first or the second's already got back some more in it, and then yeah. So this third one always seems to get filled up. Um, yeah. So uh, we want to actually get ourselves ready to actually be able to charge our quantum when we finally make it. Now. Quantum armor can only be charged in, if I am correct, a only in MFSU. Uh, it has to be high power. I think it's because it requires that much power to actually charge it to full power. It actually requires an MFSU. So, to do this, we need a considerable amount of materials. Now, we can start off by making the easiest part, and I believe that is the machine blocks, and so on and so forth. So, if we grab refined iron, we can just make the machine blocks. We just need two machine blocks, so that's simple enough, straightforward. So that's done. That's okay and done and dusted. The next we needed diamonds. Now, I only have six left of the entire lot I had. I was rolling it at one point. But we can get some more by using the whole nice technique of the minion stone. And you've seen me do it before. Basically, four gold gives you a diamond. So we're just going to get loads of... I think we're going to get another six. So we've got twelve. I think that should be more than enough. And, well, that gives you uh, eight iron. That's always handy. So, shouldn't need any gold, um, I don't believe. I think we have the wires in that already. Yeah, we've got some wires. Okay. So, uh, we need some... Oh, please don't tell me run out of redstone. Oh, maybe I have. Damn it. Oh, I'm always running out of something, aren't I? So what we need, well to get, and I'm going to have to make sure to do a little cut here at some point, but I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. So to get an MFU you need a few items. You need Lapatron Crystals, which is, basically you've seen me do Lapatrons before, it's Lapis Lazuli, some electric circuits, a bit of an energy crystal in the middle. Ooh, actually we might need some more than that. Uh, we might need some more diamonds as well, so I have to get some of them. And, you know, ultimate energy, uh, so we need 12 of these. But actually we need 13 of them, just because we also need the advanced circuit here, which requires one on its own. Um, so let's see, so you need... How many diamonds here? Six diamonds here. Oh no, maybe I'm right. And then, yeah, ten, that's fine, okay. And you need an MFE, which is... So we can get up to the MFE part, um, or the MFE ready. So we've got the machine block, we've got the wires ready. So the wires are here, the machine block's there, so we can get our MFE straight away. Now, I could actually take it from here, just use one of these, but I don't want to lose the power. Um, especially with the lava generation at the moment, I think I need to move my pump at some point. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to need some more redstone, so I'm going to have to nip down to my quarry. And, yes, I've got no redstone at all. Um, my, red, my quarry still hasn't got to the depth of where I want it to, be able to actually get the... Uh, the most valuable materials in Minecraft here, <laughs> which is redstone, diamonds, and all that. So, um, I'll be back in a few minutes once I grab a bit of redstone. Alright then, so, uh, got my redstone. Uh, thank God for Fortune Pick, otherwise, I would have been there for a lot longer. It took me about 20 minutes to actually find this amount of redstone, and that's with Fortune on my pick that's in my bag. Uh, right, um, Right, we need to put these stuff away. We can do that. No, I don't want to put the torch down. Stick all these in here. We don't need them at all. You, you, are you? And we got the redstone. So put this in here. And then let's get on this. So we need um, four of them to start with. We will need some more at some point, but we're going to stick with this four at the moment. And we need the machine block in the middle, and these here, and let's get the energy crystals in, let's get our MFE, there we go, 
and then we don't need the golden cables anymore. Now we need. Um, I'm going to work on the next part, which I need some of these. So I need at least one. So that's some advanced alloys, a machine block, and some carbon plates. Now I do have advanced alloys already here. I do have one carbon plate, but I've been cooking up some more in the com uh, compressor. There we go. So we've got 16 of them. Just think about it, it takes two stacks of. Oh, is it two stacks? No. A full stack of. Oh, actually, no. It might actually be two stacks. 32, 32, 60. Yeah. A full. St two stacks of broken down coal dust to actually get 16 carbon plates. So that's a lot. So all we need to do is put this in either side. Carbon plate, and that is our advanced machine block. So next part done. These we're done with for now. The next stack we need is we actually need to get six of these. Six more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next part we're working on is we want some electric circuits. So let's get another 64 of these. Or 60. That's close enough. And then we're done for them. So move them out of the way. Get rid of you, you and you. Uh, where is my? I don't, I don't have a plan for it, do I? Need some refined iron, which is there. So we need at least 13 of these. This is where this is going to get fun. One, two, three. There we go. 13 of them. And then we need to turn some of these into advanced. Circuits, so we'll go with this for now. So we need some lapis and glowstone. Got some glowstone still, and got some lapis lazuli here. I don't know why I do it in that weird voice, but hey, uh, is it like? No, it's not, is it? Maybe in the middle, glowstone. I did it wrong. Redstone either. There we go, that's advanced, so we just need the one of them. So, that's our next component. Now we need... Uh, do, where did I put that extra machine block? I had it here. You know what, I bet I've... Oh, you know what, I'm not even going to run down there. I've just got enough... I've got enough fine iron to make this machine block anyway, so... We don't need to mess around with it. I don't think I actually need them. Did I actually use the machine block already? Oh yeah, I did. Silly me. So we need these. So we need some lapis. Uh, plenty more than what I've already got. Ba -doom. Bada bing. Which goes down like this. Put you in there. And then we need the energy crystal in the middle. And then the electric circuits. And then this should get us our 12 lapis. Well, 12. Six Lapatron, and then we just need to arrange it all up. So Lapatron, 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 and Lapatron. Advanced circuit at the top, the MFE in the middle, and there we go, we've got an MFSU. Now, this works the same as any other item, so bat box or MFE. So if I put it down here, I'm going to put it here. Now, what I want to do is I want to have it pointing up. Now, this should stack receiving power. Now, the bat box can receive um, only 32. The maximum it can receive is 32. And only output 32. Um, um, an MFE can receive, um, I believe, low voltage, which is from the bat box, and also medium voltage, so 1 to 8. And the MFSU can receive Low voltage, medium voltage, or high voltage. So you got the three, and it also only outputs at 12, 512. But I'm not going to hook in this onto anything um, just yet. But this is basically just going to be for whole, uh, charging up my suit. Now I'm going to, at some point, make a charge pad. Now I'm going to probably make this one, which is the Lapatron charge. But this does require an MFSU to actually be able to charge up and some advanced alloys and that. So at the moment, I'm not going to be doing that. But at uh, some point I will be. Right. So let's check on our UU. I do have a, a bit 
Like I said, I've been uh, waiting for a, a while for this to actually work, so let's have a look. That's going to be draining a considerable amount of my lava now, because I've got all that going. So we've got two stacks and nearly half. Uh, let me, let's have a look. Oh, scrap's being pulled out now, I guess because we're not getting as much um, cobble coming down, that's why. So, I'm trying to think, can I actually make some stuff now? Um, you know what, I'm going to wait. I'm going to want to actually make the entire quantum armor in one go. Um, and then be able to charge it all up. I don't, I don't want to do it in bits. As much as I really want the boots and the helmet to be able to go searching around, I'm going to actually wait on that. Right, upstairs we go. Now, um, I do have 31 levels. Oh, and a cool thing. I was spending some time... Oh, actually, no. Anyway, um, I've got 31 levels. Do with this 31 levels. Do I want to just see if I can get a better, another pick, or shall I try and go for a sword? I don't know. Um, oh, I'm spot for choice. You know what, I'll come back in a second after I've decided and got ready for the next part, which I'm going to start going on back onto the um, miscraft. So I'll be back in a second, just want to check on time. Well, here we are again. Last episode, well, just after I finished recording last episode, I actually did some more exploring in that uh, fifth age over here, which is basically, I, in brackets, but okay. I didn't make any more books, I've still got all the ones that are not good. Um, you know, I can't believe how much actually I got that were not good compared to this. the one that were okay, but it was still not perfect. But, considering that, I it really went well. Um, I started exploring around the ages and found a couple of libraries, and I also found some... Um, actually, I'll probably just jump in and show you while I'm here now. Don't need these. I actually labelled them on the map, so we'll just jump through quickly. Now, if you look at the waypoints, we've got um, some bits and pieces over there. So, we've got some libraries that direction, so I found two in there, and plus an obelisk. Uh, there's also actually an obelisk close by already. Um, where is it? Um, nearby to the spawn, there were an obelisk as well that I actually raided, and that's some stuff in it. There's another library over that way. I think there's another library there, and I didn't find any in that direction, though, which were a bit of a shame. I went quite a considerable way. Um, there's actually an obelisk over that way. Uh, which I actually went over and found. And I got some cool stuff, so we'll head back to the overworld. I just wanted to point them out the waypoints, so you know I'm not just like lying and just spawning stuff in. Oh, and jeez, I hardly did anything and I'm starving. That's why I hate that world. So I actually got Silk Touch twice, six Silk Touch once, so that's a really good enchantment I found. Um, got Fawns too, um, I think I got Fire Aspect and a few other bits and pieces. And I got some duplicate pages, which I don't need, so I'll just put them in here. Plenty of books from the libraries, because they have that many. Um, I also got a Formcraft um, shovel of earth movement. Now, this is a special shovel, I believe, um, that allows you... Uh, that you need, you can only actually make which, once you've researched it in Formcraft. And I actually found this in a chest. Now, I think I don't know how rare this is, but I believe it's quite rare. Um, and I also found some picks and whatnot, some ingots, and yeah. Probably got plenty more down there, actually, because uh, some of the ingots um, that you find are actually not the ones that you actually make from uh, thermal expansion and that. Now, I've been trying to determine what I want to do. Do I want to actually get Silt Touch on one of my picks? Um, cause this one's got Efficiency, Repair, and Fortune on it. Well, this one's got Efficiency, Free, and Unbreaking. Now, I'm trying to think, do I actually want to put any of these onto a weapon? Now, I've got Silt Touch there, twice. I've got some bows, um, which I can put Fire Aspect on. Um, unbreaking, Fire Protection, Fawns, Bane of Arthropod. Now, we're thinking of actually putting... Ooh, oh, come on. Punch one, punch two. I wonder if I can actually get away with this. I don't, oh, I don't have an anvil, so I can't. Um, actually, can I make an anvil? Where is it? I, I know it's something simple. I think it's just a block of steel. Oop. Is that an anvil? How do you make an anvil? Jeez, I've forgotten already. Anvil. Um, slightly damaged. Ah. No wonder. <laughs> a 
lot more block of steels than I thought. Two more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I got the anvil. There we go. So I'm just going to put it down here. It doesn't really have to be in particular. Now I can actually combine punch and these two together. So if we put, um, we've got power three. So one, this is the bow we want to keep. And then we want to actually increase this. Now, what you can do is if you put um, punch three. Well, the way it works when enchantments, if you've got um, a bow with punch two and a bow with punch one. See, this is the best bow out of the two. Even though this one's got punch two, if you combine a punch one with a punch two, you'll also, you'll always get the higher trait. Unless you can't get any higher, obviously you can't get like um, I don't believe you can get like efficiency six or anything like that. Um, you, you get the highest. Now, if I had two bows which had punch two, I don't think you can get punch three from that. I think it has to be like um, one has to be higher than the other. So if I get punch one and punch two, I will get punch two at the end of this. So I get power three and punch, and punch two. There we go. So 18 levels spent on that, so that gives us our punch. And can I put fire aspect on this? This is fire aspect two. How much will this cut? Can I? Not? No? Must be for swords then. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Put, could put a break in on it. That would mean it would last a bit longer. Um, but, you know. So put that in there. That's a nice enchanted bow. Um, now, how much would it actually cost to put Silt Touch on um, this, I wonder? So if I put this in here, grab Silt Touch out. How much would it? 11. Wow. Um, what would it do? It doesn't remove anything, so that's not worthwhile at all. That would actually waste a book. Um, I guess I can't put any more um, enchantments on that. Oh. Although, I think I can put it on this one. Away, didn't I? Yeah. Should be able to put it on this one though. Yeah. See, I get efficiency four, unbreaking three, and also I get silk touch on that. So that is probably maybe worthwhile, but I'm not going to do that. Um just for the minute, because uh yeah. I'm just gonna be holding on to these. Right. Um so yeah, back to Miscraft. I want to make my own age, and I want to just try it out just to show you. Now, like I said, I found loads of pages. As you look, this is all the biomes I've got. So I've got um, some modifiers. I've got large, tiled, um, huge, single, desert. Um, all these different ones. Desert hills, desert, blah, blah. Uh, what else have we got? River, desert. Have I got desert hill biomes twice? I do. Check that out. Don't need it twice. Uh, what else have we got? Frozen ocean. And then we've got load of modifiers as well, obelisk, end stone, strongholds, standard terrain, eternal level, caves. So what we can do is we can copy these across, I believe. So what we got here. So we've got loads, you know, and then with some there's none in this one, this is a book I just found. Um that had nothing in it, unfortunately. Uh, which is a bit strange. But what else we got? So we've got loads of different so I want to actually make my own and go to it and see how it is. Now, you've got to be really careful when you're making some of these because like most ages I've been to, they've been unstable. Uh, that would That's the reason for all the negative effects and in some cases if it's really unstable you actually see the world start to eat itself basically and destroy itself uh, after a while. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of all my inventory, all the stuff that I don't need that I've finished making and I'll be back when I'm ready to get this sword. Got my inventory empty, so let's get on with this. Right, firstly, what I want to do is grab this notebook. Now, this is the empty notebook that I don't actually have at the moment. And if you can, the other two actually do. I should really rename the second one, but um, the whole idea, you want as many notebooks as possible and put them in these left slots and just separate them out. Like, this one's going to have biomes. I'm going to have one that has modifiers, one for uh, terrain generation and all that. Um, but we're going to put this over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy any basically any stuff we want across we don't want to actually drop these in here we want to actually right click and what it'll do is take a copy of it use some ink and a bit of paper and it'll basically make a copy of it so what we're going to do is we just want to make a simple biome so um, 
what else have we got? So we got single biome, so let's have a look. Don't have the normal one, so um got two large biomes though, we don't actually need two of them. Oh, okay. Check that out. We actually can throw that into the chest. Because we already have one. We don't need another one taking up space. So we want a single biome. No, do we want a single biome? Hmm. What, what biomes do we have? We have a desert. We have river. Yeah, we'll have a single desert biome. So right click, and what it'll do, it'll take a bit of paper, take a bit of ink, and basically copy it. And then we want a desert. So, and we've got desert hills as well, but because we've selected single biome, we actually can only have one biome type. So we click this one, and this will put in the desert biome. Now, we can alt this some more, so we can actually put some more stuff. So it seems we're done with the biomes and the modifiers. Uh, we could actually go for large biome, but it seems it's a single biome, it doesn't really matter. Um, then we want to switch to this book. And we want to just give it some uh, different variants, so we can um, add obelisks to it. Right click. We want to add strongholds. We want to... Um, we've got caves. Um, want it standard terrain. Um, do we want glowstone crystals? We could do, but um, I'll stick with that. Um, let's see, ender star fields, cloud color, yellow, rainbow, magenta, clear modifiers. We want standard lighting. Um, we don't want tendrils. What we can do is change the cloud cover because I don't think I have the sky at the moment no I just have the so what we can do cloud color and we'll have it well, what color could we have um, magenta yellow oh yellow so if we actually take this book now and right click in it what it's going to do is have all these pages now we want to I'm going to separate them out just so it's a little bit easier to understand so Got there. Cloud core is gonna be yellow. We've got standard lighting, standard terrain, caves, stronghold, and obelisks. And I'm gonna put standard terrain up here. And then we've got a single biome, desert, standard terrain. So this should hopefully work. If you do it properly and it should basically have less instability, but then again, I've never done this before, so yeah, bear with me a minute. Then we want to do is do we chuck it in here? Then all you need to do is right click and it'll chuck every single one of those pages you copied into there and empty out this notebook. So we come back. The yep, notebook's empty now, but we haven't lost any pages from the other book because all we did we copied them. And now what we have is our first oh, we've got cat lock on. First um, I don't know, call it self-made age. Um, now it's going to probably change, I'll probably change something else, but this just lets me know this is my first self-age made, and if we take this out, it's going to have all these, so, boom. So there we go, first self-age made, uh, yeah. first self-made age mage. <laughs> uh, lol. Um, so we're going to chuck this book in here, um, we're just going to leave it there. Now, what we want to do is, I'm going to leave this book, uh, not this one, this one in here, just for now. We're going to want to, again, I want to keep anything that I don't need in this chest over here, just in case. And we want to link ourselves up to the ender. Shift right click. And we want some of these. So at least if we go to the nether, we shouldn't get lost. Um, do I want these? I'll take them with me. Shouldn't be too bad to make. And we're ready. So, right click onto there. Oh, sit down. Uh, I'm going to actually grab a book first off. Make sure you always grab one. Right click, and we'll go to our self made age. Now, hopefully, this is stable. Um, doesn't look very stable, though. Oh, there we go. Do you have any negative effects? Nope. And that is. <laughs> that is very freaky. Um, hexagon shapes everywhere. I'm not sure why that is. Is it maybe, maybe because I didn't pick a sky? Oh. Hmm. So, here we are. We're in a 
we didn't have no suns. We didn't have any uh, moons rope because I hadn't really found any. So we were just in this age. Now I want to actually put a waypoint down. Now where's the book? Put that in there. And what I'm going to do, put a little waypoint down. Just so I know where I am. Um, I'm just going to call it Overworld. And put it to green. And then we can have a little explore around to see... And our age seems to be perfectly stable. There's no negative effects whatsoever. And there's a nice little obelisk over there. Oh, there's a couple of obelisks, actually. There's one there. One over there. And that looks very strange. We got some... Uh, oh, what are these? Are these beehives? Let's just find out what this is. What is that? Saltpeter. Okay, so we know we're in a desert biome. If the cactus didn't give it away. So let's just have a little fly around, and shall we? So we've got some obelisks here. Um, this is an obsidian obelisk. We seem to have picked it. Okay, can we... Uh, is there anything under here? Or is it just one of those... I would have thought maybe it might be something in the middle, but doesn't seem to be. So let's have a look around, see if we can find any interesting. Again, I don't have that many different uh, modifiers at the moment, so... Unfortunately, it's not going to be that good. But I'm hoping maybe I can find a desert temple. Or did I actually... No, maybe not. Maybe because I don't have this generation, it might not generate any. It's a reasonable one. We, uh... I wonder if it'll make oil spawn. So, uh, well, let's have a little run around. Find anything. That was a bit bigger, so I can actually see. Ooh, there's some oil over here, I believe. And there's also a library! Yay! All the way over there. So at least I don't need to put libraries into spawn, and this looks like there's some more oil down that way as well. So, I think a desert age is quite actually good for um, if you want oil, um, which I seem to run out of. So we'll run up here. Looks like there's a bit of oil down there. Is it oil? Can't really... No, it's just water. Oh, I thought it would have been oil. Shame. Oh, well, we've got this, so we can have a look in here. It's a bit dark. Stick you up there. Stick you up there. What pages have we got? So we've got rainforest biome. Meadow biome. Wasteland biome. Now, these are actually extra biomes. Um, that actually come with this, so... More books. Let's chop these down and let's have a look in this chest. What we got? We've got caves. Already got. Fog colour. Okay. No weather. Um, another biome. And jungle world. Okay. Right, so is there anything else lying around? Um, don't think so. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take all these down. I want to grab every single book as possible because they do come in handy. And if I find anything else interesting, I will um, start recording again. If not, well, I'll see you back at the base. <laughs> ah, here's another library. Um, I've just been going in a complete opposite direction to where I was the other time. I was actually last time I was heading that direction south. Got about a thousand odd meters away from that um, the waypoint over there in that direction, and then I went back and now I've come in the opposite direction to see if I can find anything else. I was trying to see if temples and that would generate on their own, but I do think it is one of those world modifiers you actually need to put in. Um, I found a little well um, that we put in by. Uh, in that you can get in vanilla, but uh, apart from that, nothing. So here's another one. Um, it's dark out. If you may not be able to tell the difference, there is mobs now spawning everywhere. Uh, but let's have a look what we got. So we have got tiny biomes. So I've already got that one. Oak wood. Okay. Um, but that's about it. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can find a bookshelf. Let's put it this side then. There we go. Let's see what we got in there. So we got no seas. Set in. Rising, ah, so there's some modifiers, and mountain tiger biome. Uh, a bit disappoint disappointed with that. There is some um, pages I do want, but they are, eh, I'd say, rare to get. Some of them, you could be lucky. But I think this is gonna be the last uh, library raid, and then I'm gonna head back. So I will see you there when I'm done. Here we are. We're back.
And now I'm just going to put these pages away. Um, we do have some of these that are copies, but uh, that happens. So biomes, let's have a look. We've got tiny biomes. I think I've already got that one, yep. Caves. So let's put the stuff I know I have. So I have already tiny biomes somewhere. I've got obelisks and a few others. So we've got that one. Um, got caves already. Do I have any other ones? I believe I do have some. Let's go back in here. So what we got? So tundra, lush. Uh, do I have jungle? Let's have a look. Rainforest biome. Now do I have that one? Nope. Don't believe I do. No, I've tundra. Plain where OC is rising grow setting. Um, what's that one? Forested island biome. Okay. Wasteland biome. And meadow biome. And mountain tiger biome. I don't have any of them. There is actually a button to uh, set these out. So you, you automatically arranges them for you, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and the rest of these are modifiers. So jungle wood. Come all the way down this one. Get your oak wood. These are what you feed tendrils. Uh, no weather. Fog colour now, do I? I don't think I've got that one. Okay. No seas. Rising and setting. So they're all the way. Um, I picked up some blaze powder. Now that's what those, if you saw those um, flowers that were on the floor um, in the as I walk past them, they'll put in, provide a little light. If you smash them, they give you a bit of blaze powder, so that's how I've got that. So i got plenty of books. Wow, I have got a load of books. I don't think I'm going to be running out anytime soon. <laughs> also picked up some cactus. I do want to plant this on some sand. Uh, so I'll just stick these away. So I want to keep hold of that. Uh, I'll just stick it in here for now. Uh, also get rid of these. Nope, I want that. Saltpeter. Um, where would that go? Stick it here. I don't know what it'll do. Is it? Can you use it? Can you catch? Might be something else then. Let's put it in my dust chest. I don't really know what to do with saltpeter. It's not something that I. Uh, can I right click on it? There's a recipe for it. Oh, so you get saltpeter from. And can you use it in anything? Is it for a recipe? Um. Oh, you can get gunpowder. Ah, right, you can make gunpowder with it. Some sulfur, charcoal, dust, and saltpeter. You can also make some fertilizer with it. Okay, that's well, that's okay. So it's going to go in there for now, uh, to start the wait. So, put the books away some more, and grab my bag back, because I want that. Yeah, I kind of lost my axe. My axe broke. <laughs> uh, which were a bit of a shame. So, let me, let's check on our uh, UU. Let's see where we at with that. Nope, nope, wrong door. <laughs> Should really put a sign on these doors. Uh, so, there we go. so we're at eight. Okay. So we're nearly stack and half. And uh, mm, okay. I'm gonna check on my quarry some more. I don't think it's the only problem with it being a single player world is if it's a multiplayer world, the, the, even if you're not on the server, it'll keep running. But because it's single player, every time I turn this off and basically not play, um, I'm oh, actually going to check on the Nevis slightly. Ooh. I've got a load of um, gas just chilling out around my house. It's a very crazy effect. Ooh, that's not good. Let's see how this pump's doing. Um, storing power at the moment. Lava's the mission main issue of getting it because it. This electric engine is providing, providing more power than what it actually needs to produce, and it's also getting rid of the lava really quickly than these redstone engines can actually provide. Oh well. Uh, so it's still working. Just letting the energy drop, and those gas are going to do my head in. We'll head back. And now I want to actually get the ball dinner. Let's go through. Boom. How are we doing here then? So we've got plenty of little, we've got a load of squid down there. Ooh, we're quite far down now. Oh, bye squid. Oh, bye squid. Oh, they died. <laughs> I actually do want the ink though, so. Tronimo! There's uh, some ink. Some more. So we're quite low down. Uh, let's have a look. 27, 24, 3, 2. Oh, well, we're on level 22. Not bad. So we're getting right to the bottom nearly, and hopefully, if we get a bit lower. 
Oh, it's raining. Just, um... You know, not many more. Just, I'm trying to think now. Just need to get to 16, so another, like, five more levels, and we should be hitting the diamond layer, so that I'm hoping we'll get a nice supply of diamonds from there. Um, yeah, so we don't need them on. Hmm. My power for my... The reason why it's taking so long for the UU is because I'm not really supplying that much power. All that's power in it at the moment is these six geothermal generators, which, you know, provide a decent power for me, but don't provide enough for the mass fab to actually run properly. So I may actually have to come up with an idea to actually power them. And I'm probably going to go with solars, um, just for the fact of they don't work through the day, but they can provide, a, if you get them up to like medium voltage and high voltage solars, they can provide a decent amount of power. Um, so that's probably something I want to lean towards. But the problem is, they're very tedious work. If you look at, you know, you've seen how solars work, you require a lot of materials. And if we actually have a look, you know, a, low, a solar panel itself requires, you know, electric circuits, generator, some coal dust and glass, and then a low voltage one requires eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer. And then a medium voltage requires eight low voltage solar arrays to actually, and then a medium voltage transformer in the middle, and then a high voltage requires, again, eight more of the medium voltage to actually make a high voltage. So. Yeah, you know, you're looking at what? You've got eight of these, and then you need eight eights, so that's... Is it eight eights? No, you just need eight, so it's eight, and then you got, then you got to times that by eight, so you need eight low voltage, which are made from eight regular solar, so that's 64, and then it's going completely crazy, but you need another eight 64s, and I think it's like 512. You need 512 regular solars to actually make a high voltage solar, so it's a really tedious process of making all those solar rays. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I think I'm going to probably call it ends here. Um, this episode is going to be kind of shorter than the rest of them. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. We've done uh, a few bits and pieces. Uh, made our own little age. Which is kind of alright. It's not the best stage, um, as we know. Can I flick through the book? You know, provide you... See, because this is a self-made, you can actually flick through all... Find, look at all the um, symbols that we use. So we use single, desert... Standard terrain, obelisks, strongholds, caves, standard lighting, you got cloud colour, yellow. But because I didn't actually have any sky, uh, standard sky terrain, um, that's what kind of bugged it out a bit. So, yeah. so I'm going to call it here. I'm going to rearrange all this, so I'm going to actually start sorting out a bit more. So when we've got biomes, we're going to have um, terrain generation, then we're going to have um, colour and all those just so it's a bit easier to flick through. And I'm also going to find out what the hell that button is for um, rearranging all that so it's a bit more organised. At the moment it's all over the place. Um, and then hopefully by me doing all this and spending a bit of time sorting out my quarry would have done. So we can have a little check on that. We can um, have a sleep. The UU hopefully would have made the amount I needed, even though I need 280. I'm thinking about nearly halfway there. So I'll be happy with that. If it comes to a point where it's just getting taken too long, I may start making parts of the items and just be able to show you from there. So, yeah. And the rain stops. Yay! So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And please, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And, you know, give me any ideas. You know, let me know what you want, want to see me to do. If you want me to uh, do some kind of cool contraption using some mods, then let me know. If you want me to start getting into other mods, uh, that are actually in here, like Formcraft or Steve's Carts or any of them like that. Just, you know, let me know. Um, I'd love, I'd love to try and do new stuff, especially stuff that I haven't done before, but don't be expecting too much information on them, because, like I said, I haven't done that many of these mods. You know, I know the standard uh, thermal expansion, industrial craft, build craft, all and all them, but I'm, then again, even saying that, I'm not a full um, advanced person when it comes to all these mods. I'm still quite a novice in them themselves. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye.